Hey guys, it's Gabrielle and welcome to my channel and for another video. So as you can see from these pictures, this was what happened to my twist out two hours after I unraveled it. As you can see, I absorbed a lot of humidity and I ended up with this giant poof ball on top of my head. However, all wasn't lost. I saved the style simply by putting a band around it and wearing a textured band. This is a style I actually discovered accidentally and I really adore how textured it is so I'm gonna keep it in my reserves as a style. So this video is about detangling day. As you can see, I have some definition and some parts are not defined. So I come up with different ways of detangling my hair, especially in cases where I have definition because that's where I'm most likely to be frustrated and yank my hair out. So this video is showing you one of a few ways I've come up with to detangle my hair efficiently, effectively, and super fast to where my hair care days are not chores. So let's talk ingredients first. You're going to need a cup of aloe vera juice an oil of your choice, you're going to need a conditioner, preferably a moisture conditioner, and an essential oil is also optional. I like essential oils because not only do they add beneficial elements to your conditioner, they're going to give it this beautiful fragrance that is very uplifting, and especially if you use something like peppermint, sweet orange, or lavender. To make this is rather easy, you're just going to need about two, maybe three tablespoons of your conditioner, two tablespoons of your oil and you're first going to mix that. The goal for this is to create a very potent conditioner that we can use as a detangler. So once you've mixed in your oil and your conditioner, the next thing you're going to add in is your essential oil. We want to mix all the parts first before we bring aloe vera into it. So I'm adding 10 drops of peppermint essential oil and peppermint has that tingling sensation that just stimulates blood flow but it also smells really nice and it has a very uplifting scent. The next thing I'm going to do is thin out the conditioner very very strategically. As you can see here, I'm simply using aloe vera juice, but you can also use an herbal tea, you can use water, you can use diluted glycerin, you can use anything you like that your hair is agreeable to. The only thing I would say is once you're doing this, try to gradually add in the aloe vera juice so that the, thing, the mixture doesn't coagulate and you end up with an even mix. So slowly I'm adding in my aloe vera juice and most important to add here is the aloe vera juice is actually heated. So I'm adding in this heated juice into the mix because I want to thin it out as much as possible. The reason why I'm thinning out the conditioner is because I have light density 4C hair. And if my hair is defined while I'm detangling, if I use a heavier conditioner, I will end up creating more tangles, but the goal is to get rid of the tangles. So I have come up with this way and it is so effective and so efficient and it saves me a lot of time. So I love doing conditioners this way. So once you have thinned it out as much as you want, again, how much you thin it out depends on your texture. For those of you with 4C light density like mine, you really want to thin it out to water consistency and we are ready to use it. One of the things that I found very effective in detangling is using warm conditioner. So I decided to warm my aloe vera juice and then go against my curls with this concoction. As you can see, I do have some definition in some parts, and this could be a recipe for a disaster if you try to use a heavier conditioner. Because while a heavier conditioner will coat the hair, it's going to be very difficult for it to penetrate through into the strands, into the individual strands, and even more difficult for you to detangle, or at least it has been that way in my case. And like I always preach, and I'm sure by now I sound like a broken record, work in sections. The method of divide and conquer is very very efficient especially if you're working with 4C hair which likes to tangle and overlap on each other. And also working in sections means you can isolate a section if it's being a problem instead of just yanking hair out willy-nilly from all over the place. So again, the number of sections don't really matter. You can do as many or as little as you like, but I like to start with four sections and then work my way from there. So the first thing I'm going to do is try to get rid of that definition as much as I can. And simply that means 
undoing the curls or undoing that texture and separating the strands as much as possible before any product touches my hair. The more of this texture I can get rid of, the easier it will be to detangle. It's not the most pleasant part, but it is an essential part. And then after that, I'm just going through it and trying to figure out if there are any problematic areas. And from this clip, you can see that I have very light density hair. And that simply means that per square inch of scalp, I don't have a lot of hair. And so my hair is in the light density category. Somebody with thicker hair would have a lot more hair strands here. But this is the one time that for us light density girls, it is an advantage because detangling is not such a nightmare. Okay, so I'm gonna divide this section again into two. If you have to divide it into three or even four sections, go for it because the smaller the sections, the easier it is to detangle and in fact, the less time it will take for you to detangle. Then I'm just gonna spray my mix directly on the hair strands. An important thing to note here is that I am using a spray bottle which is shooting the conditioner out in a jet stream as opposed to my spritz which shoots it in very very atomized uh, particles so it's very light and I don't get as much product on my hair. As you can see as soon as I spray it we're already getting some texture definition and you can see my hair kind of relaxing and beginning to separate out and this makes it so much easier to detangle. And like I always say, my hands are my best comb. I am not an advocate of combs, but I'm not against them either. But I like to use my hands first before I bring in a comb because my hands can actually feel where the tangles are. And it's much easier for me to take out the tangle using my fingers than a comb. And as you can see, I did bring in a comb here because I had so much definition and I wanted to make sure all of it had been removed. And so I am gently using the comb and guiding it with my hands as efficiently as possible. Normally I would not use a comb, but here I felt like I need to use a comb. It's really important to use a comb as a, a detangling aid and not as a product to yank out hair. So be very careful how you utilize your comb because if you have light density texture like mine, you could really use all the growth that you get. So you don't want to yank it out. And here we have a comparison of what the hair looks like. One part is detangled, the other one is not. And you can actually see the difference is like very, very present. And one part of my hair looks textured and the other part looks like a dying uh, texture from curls. Once I'm done, I just wrap it up into a twist and get that section out of the way before moving into another section. The most important thing I want to say is tangles are inherently part of our hair because even when you braid or you twist or you roll your hair, you are in fact creating tangles even though they are organized ones. So you can't really get rid of tangles because as soon as I get, I stop working on one section, the hair begins to overlap on itself. So for our texture, we can only manage tangles. We cannot absolutely eliminate them. So after this, I'm just gonna put on a heating cup. I might sit under the dryer sometimes. Sometimes I leave it on overnight. And this is one of the ways that I detangle my hair. And it literally takes me about 25 minutes to do this, sometimes even less. And also, finally, I'm going to assess hair loss, which is very important. And this is the part where you see if you use the comb correctly, because that's how much hair I lost on the comb, even though I had a little bit more on uh, the floor from just the parts that I was pulling with my hands. So that's how I detangle. I would love to know if you have tricks for how you quickly detangle. And uh, thank you for watching guys. Additional notes as usual will be in the info bar below. And if this is your first time here, I'd love for you to subscribe. I try and upload videos weekly and I focus on DIY and natural hair. I am also posting a lot more on Instagram, uh, pictures of my texture. So if you're on Instagram, check me out. All the links will be in the info bar below and I will see you guys on the next video. Thank you so much for watching and see you soon. Bye.